Elena. I'm a doctor of physical therapy and clinical content manager here at One Step. Today, I'm going to be reacting to movie scenes where people use walking devices. Forrest Gump. Okay, we have Forrest and Lieutenant Dan. Lieutenant Dan is in his wheelchair. It looks like a pretty standard wheelchair, a pretty standardized wheelchair. Um, so they haven't really done many modifications to it. If I were to give Lieutenant Dan a wheelchair, usually what I would do is I would just make sure because he has bilateral amputations that his rear wheels on the wheelchair were set back a little bit further. So that's one thing when you have amputations that your center of gravity is going to shift backwards. So you need to make sure that the chair is set up properly. And you can even put these little um, tippers on the back just to make sure that it's safe and you don't end up going over backwards and it's actually easier to propel forward. So that would be my tip for Lieutenant Dan's wheelchair. Hawaii Five-O. So they are using their wheelchairs in a hospital setting. They're regular wheelchairs. They're not designed for this kind of speed, um, but they are navigating the corners pretty well and bumping into things. So I would not recommend this in a hospital setting because there's a lot going on in a hospital and you don't want to run anybody over. If you want to use your wheelchair for sport activities, you can get one that is designed for speed. They're much lighter, they are more agile, and they are safer to navigate these types of turns. And just don't do it in a hospital setting because the people around you will not be happy with you. House. So Dr. House is one of my favorites. I grew up watching him. This is his new cane where he adds the flames on the side. He typically walks with it on the right side of his body, which for my, if I remember House correctly, his right leg is the one that is always bothering him and he has a lot of trouble with. So typically you would hold the cane on the left side if your right side is the one that's painful or weak. There might be a reason why he puts it on the right side. It, it looks like he advances the cane as he's walking with his right leg. So he advances the cane with the right leg as opposed to a more reciprocal gait pattern, which would be typical. So there might be a reason he does that, but uh, if I were his physical therapist, I would probably suggest holding the cane in the other hand and aiming for a more normalized gait pattern because it will feel more natural to him. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. So we have a little rat walking with a walking stick. It's not really a cane. I'm really proud of this rat because he has a really good reciprocal gait pattern. He is advancing his walking stick. It's not really a cane at the appropriate time and it looks fluid and he looks comfortable. If I had to critique him on one thing, it would be where he's holding the walking stick. If it were a cane, I would have him holding it on the top just so when he's pushing down and he puts his weight onto it, it's more stable because if you are holding it at parallel to the floor, where your arm is parallel to the floor, you're not as secure. So I always recommend people hold from the top and then push down as they walk to make it more safe. But overall, he gets a 10 out of 10. Up. So there's a lot going on in this clip. Um, first thing I noticed right away is that he is leaning very far forward. So typically I always encourage my patients to stand up tall because if you lean too far forward, you can set your balance off and then you're more likely to fall. He is using a four point cane or a quad cane and they have little tennis balls on the bottom, which I would put the tennis balls on the walker just because it makes it easier to slide. And he is actually lifting the cane as he's walking. So there's really no need for the tennis balls. And if anything, I might think that if he's able to lift the cane and advance it forward, he probably doesn't need them and they might make it a little too slippery. One of the other things he's doing that I would probably recommend against is he's really reaching forward with his cane. So you don't wanna reach so far forward that you're leaning forward. I understand why he's doing it in this video because he has a small child strapped to his back that's kind of offsetting his balance. So he's going really far forward to counterbalance that. Um, but as far as safety, the further out your assistive device is, the less stable it's going to be. So I would have him bring the cane back closer to him um, and advance it as he steps, which he is doing a pretty decent job taking reciprocal gait pattern. So that's good. Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. 
So right off the bat, he comes out of the doorway and it looks like his left leg is what is bothering him or the weaker side. So he is holding the cane in the correct hand, which is his right hand, the opposite side of his left leg. And I would say that the way he's going up and down the stairs is incorrect because in physical therapy, we always tell you to go up with the good leg and then down with the bad leg. So if his left leg is bothering him, he would want to start going down the stairs with the left leg. It would be cane, left leg, then the right leg. But he does cane and then he goes with the right leg and kind of drags his left leg down. So it's very unstable and makes me a little bit nervous. Just like his cane, which is super wobbly and I'm afraid it's going to snap uh, anytime he puts his weight on it. So if I was his therapist, I would give him a better cane and have him work on stairs going up and down them until he was more stable doing that. Thanks so much for watching today. I had a really good time reacting to these movie clips. Don't forget to subscribe and check out our other videos and I'll see you next time.